Recently, I've been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, or ACNH for short, as you can see. It's fun, calming, enjoyable. The perfect place to meet up with friends, even when you can't. Nintendo online membership required, each sold separately. It's the perfect place to express your artistic ideas, where a whole island is yours. And if we go to the deep end, a place to forget about life's troubles. But aside from all that, Animal Crossing is a thought experiment. How different people would react to having a whole island to themselves. Or having to share one with all your siblings because your family only has one switch. What would one do with a place of abundance? A place where money literally grows on trees. Where gifts fall from the sky. Would you hog it, share it, or use it only when needed? Here in the world of Animal Crossing, the law of supply and demand barely exists. Although sometimes it does, like when you want to buy a new dress and you don't have enough bells, or you want to expand your house, so you apply for a loan to Tom Nook. Oh, and remember what I said about escaping reality? Well, let's go back. Okay, in the real world, the law of supply and demand exists. Sometimes it may seem invisible or painfully obvious. Take the early months of this pandemic, which is about to be over. Regular everyday necessities were scarce. Masks and face shields were more expensive than they are today. Why? Because the supply was low and the demand was high. Same goes for limited edition items. Take this ACNH Nintendo Switch. When it was released, people lined up just to get one or two or three. Again, the supply was low and the demand was high because a ton of people have become Animal Crossing fans. Now let's look at the pre-post pandemic days. Today, the price of face shields and face masks have dropped. Why? To simplify it, the supply is high, the demand is fairly low. People have their own face shields and face masks now. And that wraps it up for supply and demand and Animal Crossing.